touching the camera and the light. Oh my. Jade, you can't do that, baby girl. You got tangled with your boa. <laughs> Don't touch, okay? Wanna sit with mommy while she does this or do you wanna roll? But you can't touch the camera or the light, okay? <laughs> and it is a great serum. It's a little. cleanser. It's oil free. I love how it just makes my skin feel so refreshed. It's like brightening, if that makes sense. Um, the only thing is it has glycolic acid in it, so I have to avoid putting it on my eyebrows since they're microbladed. So the other product that I use is the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser, which I love. Sometimes I use it all over because I find that the glycolic acid can be a little bit too much for every day. So I definitely only use it once a day, not morning and night, and some days I don't use it at all. Use my Foreo Luna Mini. I bought this at Sephora a couple of years ago, and I've only had to charge it twice, including when I first bought it. So the battery life on this thing is unreal. I normally actually take it into the shower with me because it's waterproof. So that was part of the reason why I bought it. The other reason was because unlike the Clarisonic, you don't have to replace the heads. So it's far more hygienic and the reviews were just amazing and I'm so happy that I got it. The second step is actually eye cream for me. I know some people do their serums first. I like to do my eye cream first because I don't want to risk putting any face cream or anything around my eyes. I'm kind of paranoid about that. Ever since I found out that it can cause Melia, I was like, nope, that is not happening. So the eye cream that I use is the Skin Fix Calm and Rejuvenate Eye Cream. So it reduces my puffiness and I feel like it helps with my dark circles. I also love that you can actually put it all the way around your eye. So it's gentle enough to put on your lid. A lot of them you can only put beneath the eye, but this one is made for 360 application. So it's pretty awesome. And I find that it even works really well when you're putting eyeshadow on. It's kind of like a primer. Not intended as one, but it works. Now I almost cheated on my next step because I have a confession to make. I don't always tone my face. But when I do, I use the Caudalie, Caudalie, Caudalie Moisturizing Toner. I love it. It's pretty affordable compared to other toners and it is quite refreshing. So you only need like one or two pumps of that. And I do like that it's a pump. So oh. the other thing is you may have noticed while I was washing my face, I had a spa head wrap on. So that's actually just a really cheap buy off of Amazon. I got a pack of three, I think it was $6, maybe $12, but it's amazing to have because then it prevents your hairline from getting wet. Sometimes I leave it on actually throughout the whole process. Now the important thing, or I should say the reason why a toner is so great is because look what it just took off my face. I removed my makeup last night. I just washed my face and that still came off. So that goes to show that your skin may look clean from the surface, but there's always a little bit more. The next thing that I do is actually apply an essence. So this is a fairly new addition to my skincare regimen. So I recently got the L'Occitane Aqua. It's from the Aqua Reotier. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Line. It's called Essence. Oh, sorry. Moisture Press. I can't speak. Moisture Prep Essence. And um, 
in the store, they actually told me to apply it in like a dabbing motion. So if it looks awkward, it's because that's what they told me to do. The whole thing behind this is it goes deep into your skin and acts as like a water repellent almost. So I guess a lot of topical things or products, I should say, that you put on your skin don't fully absorb. So this supposedly helps sink it all in, keep it there. If you go to the beach or you go to the pool and you get your face wet, your face should still be hydrated. So they claim. <laughs> so obviously this video is not sponsored. These are just all things that I have found to work for me over the years. This is actually how they did it in store. And it felt so good when she was doing it. But on myself, it just feels creepy. So we're not gonna do that. Okay, so the next product is literally my ride or die, holy grail, the Ule Henriksen Truth Serum. This bad boy is like literally smearing orange peels all over your face. It just feels like it's doing good things and it's amazing. So that is very important for me. There is one other serum that I love, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Um, it's not as superior of a product as this one, but it smells great, so I'll show you that. I use it sometimes at night, the other one. This one I like during the day because I find that it wakes me up. And if you guys wanna see a nighttime routine, let me know and I'll try and get that up for you sooner than this one. I know it feels like this has been in progress for like <laughs> three months. I've just been crazy busy, um, but who's not? So anyway, the other serum that I love is the Laneige Water Bank Serum. This smells phenomenal. I love that it smells just like their Water Bank Moisture Cream. I love to use at night. Find it extra thick for the daytime and then putting makeup on top of it, it just kind of creates a landslide effect. So day to day, I like to use the Skin Fix Hydrating Lotion. It's light, it's moisturizing. I have super dry skin and this just fulfills my needs and I'm sticking with it. But before I put that on, the most important thing to remember is that you must use an SPF daily, even if you feel like you're not getting any sun, even if you feel like you have a lot of melanin in your skin like I do, protect your face. You don't want wrinkles, you don't want sunspots. When we're young, we don't really realize how important it is to take care of our skin for preventative measures, but now, like ever since I hit 20, I kind of got in the zone, and now that I'm 25, almost 26, I'm like, whoa, my skin is not really what it used to be. So I actually just use the Garnier Ombre. I got this at the drugstore, it's not expensive at all, and I use the 60. I actually like to mix it in with my moisturizer. The other thing that I like about it is it doesn't cast a white shadow on your face, so it's very lightweight. So I'll mix these two together. <clears throat> I need to get over this cold. I forgot to mention, when I was doing my eye cream, make sure that no matter what you only ever use your ring finger because it applies the least amount of pressure around your eyes and your eyes have the thinnest layer of skin on your face on your body on your face i don't know i'm not an esthetician but i know some things and that is one of them okay now i tend to neglect my neck which is something that i need to work on <sighs> i always just Soak everything into my face and forget that my neck is also in need of some TLC. You know? Mm hmm. Okay. And it feels good. Okay. <sighs> now, that concludes my topical skincare application for the morning. Seems like a lot, it's really not. Um, and all of these products last a really long time, which I find, you know, justifies the cost of some of these things. But I'm going to link everything below and you guys can see that it's a wide variety. If you don't see yourself investing in a whole lot, I find personally the most important things are an eye cream, but I have really dry eyes. A face cream, obviously. SPF, I don't even count that because I don't care if you don't do anything to your face. You should be wearing a facial sunscreen every day. Um, and 
a moisturizer. Did I already say that? Serum is so important. Toner is great too. Anyway, as I said before, you can only do so much by applying things topical. Topical? Topically. By applying topical products to your face, it starts from within. So if you're not hydrated, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're not taking proper supplements, if, you, if your skin is dehydrated, you're not going to get the results that you want. So I've actually been taking Ben Skin Care, lots of you know this, anti-aging formula. I take four of these capsules every day, not now because I'm pregnant. The only reason is because it's not tested in pregnancy, but once I'm once I have my baby in November, I'm getting back on this because my my eyes have been so dry again. I get really bad eczema around my eyes. This helps with that. It just helps with the overall glow of your skin. It firms, it smooths, it, it literally does everything that it claims to do. There's nothing like it on the market. It was created in Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is incredible. I, I do feel like it's a revolutionary product, honestly, and it's like I said, it's one of those things you have to try it and you notice results within the first month. They are quite large, so if you try them out and you find that four at one time is too many, you can do two in the morning, two at night. Um, it also comes, I don't know if you can see that, it also comes in a liquid form, in which case you would leave that in your fridge, just like any Omega. And yeah, just have to remember to take it that way because it's not like on your nightstand or in your bathroom or in, on your kitchen counter, it's in your fridge. The thing about the liquid is it actually lasts 40 days opposed to 30 days. So if you're looking for a better bang for your buck, that may be it. So before I head out the door, I actually already put some on, but I, Finish off by putting my Laneige sleeping mask on. It says it's a sleeping mask for your lips. I use it as a lip balm. It's addictive. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If you'd like to see a nighttime routine, leave me a comment and or send me a message. I would love to. Um, yeah, and I hope everyone has a great day. I don't know when you're going to watch this. We're going to see when I edit it. But that's all for now.